Hey guys, this is Lion Scratch, and I figured that since I've been on Scratch for almost four years now, I should probably think about making a Scratch tutorial. So, here we go. The first Scratch tutorial I'm going to be making is how to make a Scratch account, and how to maneuver your way around Scratch. The first thing you're going to need is a computer that has Flash installed. Since Scratch runs on Flash, you really won't be able to do much on Scratch if you don't have Flash installed. Now, you have to go to the Scratch website, which is scratch.mit.edu. Once you're there, click on the button that says Join Scratch, since you probably don't have an account yet. Next, choose a Scratch username. I'm going to choose the username RedApple17. And just be warned, some usernames may already be taken by other users, so you have to think of something creative. But don't worry, most usernames aren't taken. Now for the password, you probably already have a password in mind. And if you don't, pick a good password, make it semi-long, and I'm going to put in my password. After you put in your password, just answer these questions. Nothing hard. And I'm just going to put in my birth date as this so you won't know my real age. Choose your gender and choose your country. Maybe later in one of the advanced tutorials, I'll show you how to make a two digit location, which looks really cool. Now we have to click on next and we're gonna put in our email address. So just put in your email address and I'll put in mine. So now that we created our account and you put in your email address, you're going to have to go to your email in order to confirm your Scratch account, which I'm going to do now. When you find your email, all you have to do is click confirm my email address and there you go. You can now officially make comments and share projects on Scratch. The next thing I want to show you how to do is to make a logo and fill in your profile. Now the next thing I want to show you how to do is choose a profile picture and fill in your profile. The first thing you want to do is go to the top right of the scratch page and click on the button that shows your username. Once we click there, click on profile. Here you can add information about you and what you're going to work on. I'm going to say that I'm Lion Scratch's tutorial account. Also here's a tip, if you want to link other users, all you have to do is put the at sign then the scratcher you want to link's username, like mine. And I'm going to fill in my what I'm working on with teaching people. Okay, now that I've taught you that, let's put in a logo so we're not stuck with this plain cat. So, you should get an image that you like. To make it look its best, the image should be 200 by 200, but any images that are a little bigger or smaller than that will probably do fine. But any huge images will look all squished. But let's go look for a picture of, I don't know, how about a cat? So let's go to images, and let's see. This cat looks interesting, and if we can see here, it's 300 by 300, so that's going to fit perfectly too. So we just have to hit save image as, you can save it in your computer. Now we can go back over to your profile page, and if you roll over your profile picture, you'll see something comes up and it says change. Click on the change and your files will come up. Now I'm gonna blur my files out just so you don't know what I have on there, but find your picture and click open on a Mac or some other button on a PC and there. It'll say thumbnail change and there's your picture. There, we, see we can see it's already up there. Now the next thing we're gonna try to do is to follow people. So following people is a great way to show that you like their stuff and you like their projects. So I'm going to go look for some cool projects on here. This looks nice. So I'm going to click on the project and see up here, this, if you roll over it, it's a link. So we can click on that and there we go. We got to someone's profile page. So in order to follow them, we can just click on the follow button and there, we're following them. Now you can get followers too, and that's by making good projects and people will discover you and follow you. Now it's time for Lion Scratch's Scratch Etiquette. 
The first rule is never, ever, ever, ever advertise your project. Ever. If you keep advertising your project and spamming forums and studios and other people's projects, people really won't pay attention to you and they might report you and you could get banned. The next scratch etiquette rule is never show your face unless absolutely necessary. So don't go just posting a picture of yourself because A, it's personal safety and B, scratch isn't for posting pictures of yourself, so don't do it. Scratch etiquette rule number three. This etiquette rule is don't just post music with a picture going with it and calling it a project. There are lots of people that do that and it doesn't show that you're creative at all. Scratch etiquette rule number four. This is always be respectful, never insult someone. Now, this may sound like I am part of the scratch team, but really it's true. The really famous scratchers, they're never mean to anybody and they're always respectful and that's why they're famous because lots of people like them. So if you wanna get lots of followers too, be respectful. Thank you for watching my first tutorial and see you in the next one.